Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Avrin Lefebvre, and in this video, we're going to be reviewing the Yes 2020. This board features traditional camber with Yes's Powder Hull 2.0. So it's traditional camber from contact point to contact point. That's going to give you the load and pop that you need, as well as the drive of the board. Now with the Powder Hull 2.0, it's a 3D shaping that's going to help funnel the snow out to the sides as well as change some of the characteristics in the flex of that board in the tip and the tail. This board is only available in a 156. I rode this board at Copper Mountain on a sunny bluebird day. There was a little bit of wind, cooler temps. There was a lot of leftover fresh snow off the run and perfect corduroy on it. And I rode it with my Rome Black Label bindings and my K2 Thraxxus boots. The overall flex of this board comes in at just past a middle of the road. And you have that standard twin flex of softer tips, stiffer midsection, but with a clear defined flex point right at the end of that powder hull 2.0. Now, when it comes to stability, the width, camber, shaping of this board all work in conjunction to make it a very stable ride. You really don't feel any chatter out in the tips because just the way the shaping is on it just dissipates it before it would get underfoot. And at speed, the best way to describe this board is like an excavator driving over loose gravel. You feel the snow crunching underneath you and pushing down, but it doesn't affect the ride at all. It just plows through everything in its path. With this board being camber, you have to load it up to get it to pop. That's a very obvious statement, but I want to dive a little deeper into this. So you want to be flat based when you load this board up to get spring. And if you do, it's going to be solid. But when you're on edge, if you're just a little off kilter, a little more toe heavy or heel heavy and you go to pop, you lose some of that spring because you've got this section of the board that's just been changed with how it's going to flex and how it's going to engage. So with that cutout, you lose that power. It's just like this section of the board just does not exist. So when you're flat based, you can use the cutout of it as if it's a torsion fork. So when it flexes down from that load, it's gonna spring back up and give you pop. With that said, popping on edge obviously sucks, but when you're flat based and you load up side hits, pillow poppers, rollers, just ollieing flat over things, it's awesome. This board has solid snap, but when you get on edge, it's soggy, it lacks. You're just like, what the hell just happened? So with the flex and camber profile of this board, you got to work to butter this thing. You're going to realize that you need to get your weight out over the nose or out over the tail to just really flex into it and get it to engage. And when you do, you're going to notice that rebound from the camber. It's going to fight you. Now, when you go sideways and if it's firmer snow or uneven or just something where it can catch, that powder hull will grip and yank you around. You'll notice that you're going sideways and suddenly you're just being spun in whatever direction it decides to catch you with. Be aware of that. You want to butter this thing in soft, fresh snow with nothing underneath that can actually catch it. Obviously, it's a powder twin, so it's not gonna be the best at carving. It's gonna be great at doing slashes, not the best at carving. With that said, you notice that it does have a smooth roll from toe to heel, and that mid bite right inside the feet does grip and allow for better ankle steering. You can just sort of feel it lock in, steer it a little bit with your ankles, and just transition from one side of the run back to the other. And that's kind of the strong suit with this board, is those short, tight, quick setup carves, or those medium, mellow carves where you're on edge and you're just doing a little ankle steering. You're not driving it really aggressively. Because when you do drive it really aggressively and you're on edge, you start to realize that you're losing where this cutout is that power that you would normally use to be able to push into the board to get it to drive you out of the turn. It's just gone. And that's fine. That's not what this board is for. Like, why would you want that? You look at it and go, no, that's fine. I can live without that. Who's this board for? The Freestyle Focused Powder Rider. So they tweaked the powder hull on this since the last time I wrote it. It's noticeably more refined. It's not as aggressive on there. They did stiffen the board up, which gives it a little bit more power, which you notice when you're flat basing. When you're on edge, it's still a little lackluster just for that power and spring, which is fine. It's, I mean, I can deal with that. I've ridden a lot of powder twins and there's other ones that I would gravitate towards over this one. 
just because the price, the 3D shaping isn't gonna be for everyone. But overall, I do like the way that they're going with this. It's gotten better, it's a better ride. It feels more approachable for everyone compared to what it used to be just even two years ago. Comparable boards, the Marhar Lumberjack X, the K2 Party Platter, the Jones Mind Expander Twin. Binding recommendations, the Union Strata, the K2 Formula, the Burton Cartel. This has been my review of the Yes 2020. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you own one? Are you gonna buy one? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this snowboard. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not missing any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you really like what we're doing over here and you want to support us further, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP and become a member. Sure, I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Avery Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video.